SportsTissueBox.com. SportsTissueBox.com. Football season is here, and what better way to commemorate the season is grab your Sports Tissue Box now at SportsTissueBoxes.com. Whether you're celebrating the thrill of victory or agony of defeat, Sports Tissue Boxes are there for both young and old. Grab your Sports Tissue Box now at SportsTissueBoxes.com. Call them, baby, the Mets are here. Right here for you. Joe Biden. <sighs> Your boy. He was at a hip hop. Uh, he was honoring some hip hop legends, MC Light and LL Cool J. I think it was at like a hip hop. What, what are these things? We're calling these things. Right I guess now? It's like a little um, summit. I guess like right. to kind of honor them. Right. Yeah. So he was there. Mispronounced LL's name, forgot his name, then called him a boy. A lot of people had fun with it. I ain't gonna say they took it too serious, but they had fun with it. Right. And, and justifiably so. Well, MC Light heard a lot of the fun that was going on. She took exception to it. Oh God and. You got it up yeah, there. and she pretty much defended Joe Biden. Um, was pretty much saying like, "Look, she don't think that he meant it." Um, she also went on to say that she thinks that people should focus on the fact that the United States president and the vice president is showing love to hip hop for the first time. And she, and she said, "I quote: We should all spend time focusing on this for the first time in history. Both president and vice president of the United States together." have acknowledged, embraced, and publicly shown their love and appreciation for a mon monumental achievement in hip-hop. She continued to say, let's try to keep showing each other love and grace. Long live hip-hop. Um, what's your thoughts on that? <laughs> yeah. What's your thoughts on it? Uh, respectfully, I disagree. Yeah. I disagree a hell of a lot, um, especially when... 2012, I think. We had Obama in for eight years, and all we seen is hip hop throughout the White House. president is black. They had hip hop songs. Yeah, they had yeah. Grammys. And <laughs> he was playing ball with the NBA stars, and yeah. it was hip hop throughout that joint. Hip hop throughout it. And Joe Biden was his vice president. So I don't. Um, see, we you, you brought it up, and you hit the nail right on the head. We see this kind of stuff around election year every single year, and sometimes. And we say it a lot, and we don't know particulars, and we don't know exactly who, but we call out certain people in our culture, Hollywood, comedy, uh, sports, hip-hop, for getting paid by certain parties in politics who want to buy our vote. Right. And those people in particular throughout the decades have been Democrat. I know a lot of people think that we're pro-Republican. I know a lot of people think we're pro-Trump. But listen, let's just call the facts out. There's only one side pandering and promoting for our votes there's only one side doing hip-hop events if the other side was doing it we'd talk shit about them too but they're not it's one the one looking for your vote and that happens to be democrat and this is exactly what they're doing now now she may be genuine in how she feels about that being a mistake right but you got the crime bill you have who he looks up to you have a lot of 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 breadcrumbs Pointing to, this dude may not like black people too much. And now getting in his older age, mistakes happen, and he may have reverted back to something back from when he was 17, 8 years old. Oh, that boy. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. not. Yeah. We don't know. But for you to just go ahead and openly defend it and say we got to focus on love and hip-hop, it's almost kind of like a way to let's throw the blanket over the fire because we have real information coming out unlike we never have before. And to kind of silence it a little bit, let's just focus on love and hip-hop because this is what we are. This is what we are. And we got to vote for them because they're going to keep hip-hop a lot. I just think it's, it's bullshit, silly. bro. It's silly. It's short-sighted. And MC Light is following the old adjective. Do not bite the hand that feeds you. Mm. And what I'm saying that is that she was just at an award show that the vice president and the president honored her. There's no way in hell she's going to say anything disrespectful or against that. Probably she didn't get paid. She got an award. I'm pretty sure she probably got some type of you know money, if not notoriety. So she's not going to come out and say anything contrary to that. As far as her talking about you know the the hip hop aspect of it, I think it's just silly. Yeah. I think I think it's just it's, just, it's stupid. Really like okay, so oh they honor hip hop, but they'll sign a crime bill that you know put all you guys in jail. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's just I think a lot. That's why we really can't have celebrities really speaking for us and athletes in certain instances speaking for us because you know they really don't understand the political climate of what's really going on here. They don't really understand that okay now you every time around election they're gonna yeah they're gonna go use. You people to get to other people to make it look like they rock with you. But remember, once they get in office, every single time 
They don't give a damn about us. We got it. We got to remember that. See, we get caught up in the watermelon, the fried chickens, the dancing, the Kamala Harris. Collard greens at the refrigerator. Right. We, you know, oh, we, uh, Bill Clinton playing, uh, you know, the saxophone and, you know, um, uh, um, Jeezy hanging out with Obama. Jay oh, I got Obama on a jack and all this bullshit. And then when they get in office, they do everything for everybody except for you. And we keep accepting it. That's the problem. We keep accepting second class citizenship instead of saying, nah. Fuck your fucking events. Fuck your chicken dances and watermelons and grape juice. What the hell are you going to do for us? Oh, they, they've, they've given more money to HBCUs than any presidency we've ever seen, oh God. Right. HBCUs. Right. Right. Why not give it to them kids in Frederick Douglass Elementary School that need it? Or the ones in New York or the ones in these inner cities that actually need it. Why don't we go to the children that don't have the money as opposed to the ones that just pay $60,000 a year to go to <laughs> right. university? But because it's historically black, that's the propaganda they try to throw behind it. And I'm not throwing any shade against historic black colleges. I think they're needed. I love them. But to say that that's the one thing they do, that's the one thing they say, oh, we put this amount of money to HBCUs. Yeah, well, there's 10 million other black kids that ain't got to that point yet in schools, suffering from education, not reading at the right level, not doing mathematics at the right level, not being able to get jobs or, or be able to have the, the, the tools they need to succeed outside of these damn schools. What are you doing for them? What are you doing for us? Because we were once them children. Where does it talk about reparations? See, uh -oh. we, we shouldn't have anybody, uh -oh. any candidate that's not willing to put reparations on the table. None of them are. None of them are. We shouldn't be behind none of them, yo. None of them. You, they owe you a debt, bro. They owe you a debt. I don't care what nobody said. They paid groups of people. They have paid people for the atrocities they committed. Not even here. In other countries. And they they won't put the conversation on the table. That should be number one right there. Like, but hey, man, we just keep getting, you know, sucked into this and that. And I don't know, man. Um, And I'm not, I'm not. Registered Republican, not registered Democrat. If anything, I'll be a libertarian. If you had to really like pick, less government, get the fuck out of our shit. Let us handle our own thing. That's what I'm really with at the end of the day. But we still got to keep, you know, focused on the political climate and the people that they keep pushing in front of us, man. And um, you know, like I said, if it was on the Republican side, we would call it out too. But don't give me two sides. Don't give me a Hulk Hogan or 49ers and a Cowboy and say I got to choose. What if I want to pick another team? Word. And they do that. Right. And they only, the only people they do that to is us. Right. The only people they do that to is us. You ain't never say you ain't white if you vote Republican. <laughs> or if you don't vote Republican, you ain't white. I ain't never heard that in my life. Right, right, But right, you right. ain't black if you don't vote Democrat. Wow. Or, or if we have conversations that just give Democrats the criticism by any stretch of the imagination. Now we on the other side. Now I might as well just pledge our allegiance to the other side. The reason why we talk about Trump the way we do, the reason why we talk about the other side is just to give you guys another side of the goddamn equation. Because there is another side. We're not just stuck in this hole that is Democrat and not asking why we voted for him for decades upon decades. Yes, they've done absolutely nothing for us. We were the same way growing up. We've seen the same shit. And it's like, okay, eventually you get tired of getting your ass whipped. You want to know how you can fucking start whipping some ass yourself. And if one side ain't giving it to you, hell, let's look at the other side. And if they ain't, who is? And we ain't got to that. I and guess we, we still ain't getting our ass whipped. Yeah, we shouldn't. We, like I said, we really shouldn't support none of them unless they have an agenda for us on the table as poverty... You know, is that that, you know, getting better, you know, or is jobs increasing, is the wealth gap changing, like things like this is like and over the years, none of that has really improved significantly. If it did with one administration, it went down for the next. Mm -hmm. So it's like what's really going on here? You know, but hey, you know, I mean I'm not even like I'm not claiming to be a political, you know, analyst or nothing At like all. that. But we, we can see with our own damn eyes what's going on. Right. We got senses. We got, you know, uh, comprehension skills out this bitch. Yep. And we wouldn't ever tell you who to vote for either. Do your own do research. Your yeah. Make sure you vet these candidates off the computers, off the phones. Do your own genuine research if you genuinely care. And it's not a popularity contest to you because a lot of y'all won't admit it's just simply a popularity contest. Y'all don't know shit about the policy. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. But y'all want to sit back and argue with us. Listen, don't listen to us about anything either. Go do your own. Well, you got people ignorant enough to say... Because somebody's black or it's because it's a woman that I'm voting, 
that's ignorant. Yeah. That's just because? What the hell does that mean? We had mm-hmm. people that sold us out throughout the years that was black or woman. That don't mean nothing. Oh, she a woman, so I'm behind her. What? She a black woman. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. You yeah. got to be a silly mofo. It's a lot of them. <laughs> but we still love y'all. Yeah, yeah. Still love Yeah, y'all. you know, we, we get it. We get it. You still know? love y'all. Yeah. What we got else, man? Cat-